Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira administration tutorial, we are going to discuss a little bit more about the Jira admin settings. And previously we have understood about the general configuration. Now, where, uh, how you can navigate to this particular page if you're a Jira admin, if you go to the settings here, click on the cogwheel, you'll see that you have this system, right? So system Jira settings, that means you are a Jira admin. So you can go ahead and click on the system and you'll come to this particular screen, which I am on at the moment. So here, if you scroll down, we have this user interface section as well, which I want to also cover. So you know basically what all comes into the user interface. This is mostly look and feel, the user preferences, etc. So if you go to the default user preferences, you will see that user default settings. So these are the default settings for uh, the users. For example, each of the user will be onboarded. What will be the default outgoing email format for them? Number of issues that will be displayed per issue navigator. So these values that you set up here will be basically the default values that the user that will be applied for the users that are onboarded to Jira instance. Okay. Then default sharing for filters and dashboards by default is private. You can go ahead and change it. Auto watch own issues is by default. Yes. Right. So if you want to edit, simply click on edit default values and you can change the email format issues per page, the default access for filters and dashboards if you change it to public so basically that means any user who creates the filter or dashboard by default will be public they won't be private right so anyone on the Jira instance will be able to access those filters and dashboard dashboards and then if you uncheck or to watch own issues then whatever your own issues are or the user's own issues are they won't be auto watch until unless user goes ahead and says i want to watch this particular issue or the updates on this particular issue okay so let's keep it default but this is just to show you that these are the settings that are possible there i'll cancel this now going back to the next section which is default dashboard so what will be the de default dashboard that appears to the user right so you can set up the default dashboard as well for example on the default dashboard what all gadgets you want to put in there for example do you want introduction introduction gadget right you want assign to me activity streams project right so you can go ahead and update the gadgets that are available here you can remove if say for example you don't want right any of the gadgets you can highlight them with different colors okay and then you can also update or add more gadgets so if i click on add more gadgets i can go ahead and say for the default dashboard i also want to have by default created versus resolved chart to be added right so created versus resolved chart and then basically it will ask for the filter project which is not recommended because usually if say for example on the default dashboard you are looking for created versus resolved then you definitely have to as an admin specify some of the project which is very project specific so that's why this gadget is not recommended here but anything generic anything generic for example assigned to me introduction project activity streams let's see if we can get anything generic anything project specific won't work here let's see issues in progress yeah so this is basically issues in progress and that is that is not specific to project right so you can go ahead and configure the columns that will be displayed and save it. so now what will happen is if you update the default dashboard here and save it so this will be the dashboard so any new user who comes in this will be the dashboard that will be available and the way these gadgets are that will be available to the new user that is onboarded on jira instance okay so let's go to the settings again and so we have looked at the default dashboard now if we talk about the look and feel so now look and feel basically what logo so at the moment you will see that the logo that that is being displayed right so you can change all of that as well so i can have a specific company specific logo and i can go ahead and choose a file and let me choose this rcv academy uh, png file and the logo size they recommend is 368 by 56 that's not the size mine is different let me choose again and then we have this title right so if you want to you know titles appear in your browser tab and switching applications so you can change your title in general configuration edit settings so you can change the title five icon five icon is this particular icon that gets displayed here so let's say i want to change five icon as well to the same icon and then navigation colors right so at the moment you'll see the blue and white you can change these navigation colors the format date and time format 
all of that is basically available in here under the look and feel section right so you can go ahead and explore these options under the look and feel section of the jira instance right so let's say upload fav icon so i've chosen the fav icon and i'm going to upload and then here you'll see the fav icon at the top has changed similarly for the logo if i choose the file and then say upload logo it should change the logo in the left hand side here as well to rcv academy right so you see the logo has changed the fav icon has changed which is very specific to the organization right uh, the title you can go ahead colors you can go ahead and explore so these are some very common features that are user specific time format day format etc you can go ahead and change okay now the next thing is around the user interface is announcement banner okay so announcement banner is the banner or the announcement that will appear to the users okay so for example i'll say this this is new announcement okay from rcv academy and then the background color say for example i want to change the background color i can choose that and then here you enable show banner to users and then users can dismiss the banner or they can't right if you want to disable that user can't dismiss the banner you keep it default otherwise allow users to dismiss the banner okay and then who is your target audience mostly it will be private because only licensed jira users or users within your organization this banner would be for them or if you want anyone in the jira including guests or other then you keep it to public okay so if i go ahead and publish this particular banner you will see this is new announcement from rcv academy right and the banner appears and the user can go ahead and dismiss it right so click on the cross there and dismiss it so i can go ahead and update the banner accordingly with the color coding etc and update it here okay so this is basically what all goes into the user interface default user preferences default dashboard that you want to show to your users that are onboarded to the jira instance look and feel in terms of your time right so if you go to the the fav icon the logo the time format the title all of that you can control from the look and feel section okay and then in the announcement banner you can update or you can configure the announcement that will be displayed to the user you can have the message and you can enable the banner to the users you can also enable or configure users can dismiss the banner okay when they read the message they can then go ahead and dismiss the banner banner is very helpful for displaying the very important org wide information to the jira users okay so that's all for this video around Around the user interface and what all is possible in Jira user interface. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.